Hello. I hauled some books from Sears. Uh, some of them are classic, some of them are contemporary poetry. So, first one I hauled is the Big, uh, Big Book of Secrets, which um, has a lot of different facts in it. It's pretty cool, uh, kind of long, but be quick and easy to get through. Um, the thing that appealed me to this is the Mona Lisa on the front. So I picked up the big book of secrets from Sabres. Then I picked up by Oscar Wilde, The Picture of Dorian Gray, which is one of um, Oscar Wilde's biggest books ever to be released. Um, it's been floating around booktube for a while, like this is a favorite book of everyone's. And I just, I had to pick it up for myself. Um, I can't wait to get to it and read it. Then I have The Stranger by Albert Camus. And I'm not sure about what this is about, but it is a fan favorite amongst many people for classics. So I was like, I have to get this one for myself. So I added this and took this home with me. Then I took home from Savers. Charles Darwin, The Voyage of the Beagle. This is one of his ships that he took around the world to do his studies. And um, I want to read a lot more historical fiction or like, um, not historical fiction. I mean, um, a lot more historical books. And this just caught my eye when I saw it. So I want to pick this one up very soon. Then I did not read uh, 1984 in high school so I feel like I'm missing out on a classic here so I picked this one up as well which is uh, 1984 by George Orwell which is um, a twist on a negative utopia in the future um, I don't know exactly what it's about per se but I can't wait to get to it it's a near beautiful near mint beautiful condition except for the little um little breakage right here but i can't wait to get to this um so i picked up 1984 i also didn't read lord of the flies in high school so i picked up lord of the flies which i thought this edition was amazing um and I know this deals with people getting stuck on an island, and I thought this is just, I just am mesmerized by the cover, it's gorgeous, but um, I can't wait to get to it also. Then we picked up, or I picked up The Three Musketeers, I'm going to be reading this for a challenge later this year, uh, for a buddy read, um, I kind of know the classic story of the Three Musketeers, but at the same time, I kind of don't know it, and I want to pick it up and see for myself, and um, I can't wait to get to this one, and this cover is just absolutely gorgeous. I then picked up Life on the Mississippi by Mark Twain, which is a Penguin classic right here, and uh, I'm not sure much about what happened what's going on in this book, but it kind of caught my eye. I tried reading The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and they didn't really appeal to me too much, but I just saw this edition. It was gorgeous, and I was like, I have to give this one a try, so I'll see. Then I picked up this gorgeous edition of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which was written in 1870, I believe. And this edition's from 2006, but it's kind of cool to read a book before a modern technology is involved. Um, some marines weren't created until later, after um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. So it's kind of cool to see how the author portrayed a technology 
before it was invented, which is really cool. And I heard that this is just like a nautical adventure. And I really like nautical adventures. I'm very interested in stuff like that. So I wanted to give this a try. Then I picked up Odyssey of Homer, which I read in ninth grade with my class. And I felt that this was a really cool book. I, I've been missing it recently. And I've always wanted to re-enter the world of um, the Odyssey. So I picked up this. Um, and I just can't wait to get to it. Like, this is a classic story for a reason. Everybody reads it. And I can't wait to get to it. Then I picked up Don Quixote. Uh, I can't pronounce his name to save my life. But um, this is a Spanish translated novel um and it's a famous Spanish novel I think it was published in let's see this was originally published in 1950 and it was made into a movie a couple years ago and it has Adam Driver in it and Adam Driver is my absolute one of my absolute favorite actors as of now um, and I kind of wanted to read the source material before I saw the movie, because I like to do that every once in a while, and it is a hefty book. I think it's towering in at, it's towering in at, um, 940 pages. I feel like this would take me a little while to get through. But I can't wait to get to it. Then, uh, this is the last classic that I picked up, which is The Starseed Transmissions by Ken Carey, which is um, a sci-fi classic. And from what I've heard, if you like sci-fi and fantasy, and that's really your real house, um, this would be for you. So... Um, I can't wait to get to it. It's short as well. Like, I think it's only, uh, when it's all said and done, 84 pages, so I can really breeze through this really quickly. And then I might read the, the next ones after this, because this is part of a trilogy. Um... So I can't wait to get to that. Then the last two books that I picked from Savers that day was some poetry. And I picked up George Gordon, Lord Byron Selected Poems. This is a Dover Thrift Edition. And it's just different collected poems. So I have some selected poems there. I'm trying to read more poetry. And short stories in my life so I kind of feel like I don't read a lot of poetry and then we also have The Truth About Magic by Atticus which also has um, some illustrations in there which kind of caught my eye because I love black and white illustrations like these are really pretty and I feel like that this would be um, really nice to get through a um, quick short read um the book's only a less than 300 pages it's not that it's not gonna be that long but the illustrations are just really gorgeous so we have those as well um but i can't wait to get to it <laughs> um but we'll see but and now these are all the books that I hold from Sabres and um, maybe I'll do a video when I try to read a majority of them and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye